Hi, we are at video three. We are still making a series about wallpapers coming from Submicron for our anniversary. And we have a bunch of wallpapers and we want to share them in a specific way. And we've created a GitHub. So everything is explained on here, article links D. And if GitHub is new to you, it's very easy. It's explained on this article in article links D. Start here, getting ready. So we've done that. We've created already a new GitHub. That was film two, this is film three. And we have this, this link here with this, this URL. This is the place where we'll put these kind of wallpapers, this size, we'll put them there. We copy paste this over, and then we need to git clone it. We need to get it. I know it's empty, but still we need to get it. Right mouse click, open terminal here, and then you say git clone, and then Control shift v and then you don't have to type everything, right? So when you do this, it says, okay, I'm going to clone it. Done. Warning. You appear to have cloned an empty repository. Quite right. But actually, Control h it's not empty at all. It has really a lot of stuff, a lot of information. And this is the most important thing. This is the URL. So unified resource locator. This is where it is. Okay, it needs that, but we don't want to see it. It's not necessary to see it. Control H, bye. It's there, we know it's not empty. Now, what we say up here is, well, you need to get some files, two files. That's the only thing you need, two files, to make GitHub work the easy way, the very easy way, without really digging into the code. A lot of commands of GitHub it can be quite daunting, but we don't need that. We don't need daunting commands, we need just two files. Okay, where do we get them? We get, get them at any of our GitHubs often, because I use them all the time. So this is just an example, an article Linux D. It's still open, I see here. And this is not budgie, but Mate. So I could take Deeping and you'll find something similar. Git version 1, setup Git. So these two guys, we need them. Now, either you git clone it and you have it, or why not? Just click on here, take raw, and you have the code. Control A, Control C. This is the code you need. Right? Go back, go back. We call it git dash version 1. Fine. Create document, empty file. git dash version 1.sh from shell. Double click, Control V, save. What you need to change? This probably, right? Everything else is okay. It says, check on the internet there is something new. Git pull, get it from the internet to my machine. Yeah, so maybe you work on two machines and you push something on machine one, go to machine two and you push it, you pull it back on that machine. That's what it does. Did I add a wallpaper? then this command will add it blah 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 write your commit comments read input then you say i've added a beautiful wallpaper that's your input and it says your commit will say i added a beautiful wallpaper and then you push it to the internet and it comes from the pc to the internet so that's git version one okay and let's delete this and let's delete that all right the next one was set up anywhere on Arco Linux, as long as that's version one, uh, just get those, raw, control A, control C. Let's check that the naming is the same, setup dash git dash, okay. Just to be 100% correct. Setup git dash version one dot sh. Was this? I think it was. Double click. You see the icons change. This icon, that icon looks different. This is empty. Save. It has the bin bash or shubong up here. And the result is A. Hey, you can run this thing. Well, actually, you can't run it yet. All right. Here is a possible to make something executable. Properties, permissions. 
allow this file to run as a program. In English, to run is to execute. So this does the same as schmot and then plus x or something. So you add a bit to the system, say, hey, you can execute this as well. So that's one way, and we made a nice little thing down here. I use this now all the time. That's faster. So we have now two applications, well, two scripts. This one is one in a, once in a lifetime. I mean, you open this up, change your mail or name and, and Gmail or account or any other uh, mail account, and all the rest stays the same. So these guys need to be changed. And this blah blah it can be always changed you can do with it what you want so like i said set up you're just running once it's the first time you set a uh, github up like on a clean install for instance i need to run it as well after a clean install i need to run this thing right and once it knows it then that's okay you just need to run it once on your system the first time and then the git version one so we need to run that one Let's go back to the GitHub, this one, refresh, it still looks the same. Once we push to it, so this one, let's open it last time. Once we push to it, line 36, it's going to be changed. So open terminal, git, checking for newer files. Then we say something like um, adding administration files or something it doesn't matter what you say as long as you know what the change is for you okay then i have to well cut the video here pause the video here to be sure that the username and passwords are not known of course okay everything is pushed i closed the terminal and i'm going to refresh it now and what happens is that eric dubois adding administration files so here it is our commit or our explanation why we changed something is in here and the files that we created are of course the ones that we have on our system okay so the last thing i need to do is to oops is to make sure that all the rest is there what i'm gonna do is go to my external drive to this one and that one this is all we need to do i don't see any doubles it's all a little bit different in colors and if we do see doubles later on we'll just delete them so Control a Control c i want to have all these guys in my github here Control v and when i open it back up open terminal here I'm gonna push it again. Dot G is enough. So when you start typing, dot G tap and then that that enter. It's gonna uh, yeah, it's had a lot of work of course. Um it's about here it is 128 wallpapers, 150 megabytes down here. You can see how much it is. So um I don't know. Um wallpapers video 3 or something that's nah, not important so wallpapers committed double t yeah not better there you go so everything is created create mode blah 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 time capsule uh, all information i've made sure that all the names are correct there are no spaces anywhere um so i had a lot of work making it the way i wanted it but it's okay i think it's all right and otherwise we'll just make a new one so it is going to upload and here you see some percentages almost halfway and how fast we're uploading and it's about 150 megabytes so it will be a big chunk of wallpapers but it's, it's, that's just the idea, it's just what we want to do. We want to share it with you as a present for our anniversary. And in the meantime, make you smarter. Some video tutorials. All right, it's there. Is it really? Ooh. 
wallpapers committed. Now it stays, this comment will stay like forever until I change something, right? A minute ago it has been put online. And maybe last thing I say is check out the commits. So if we commit something on our GitHubs, it's interesting to see what it entails. So this is our commit at that point in time. That's what we did. We added something green, so two files. And the other one is a bit longer, of course. Wallpapers committed are all these 150 things that's really gonna hurt to load. But on a GitHub, it's just sometimes a dash here and an extra line there. So um, this is the complete list of all the changes. Let's conclude with that. And now we need to make a package build for, to get this on Article Linux, right? That's probably a next step is how to figure out how package builds work. 